Okay, next up on the APC family is the APC 556. This is the gun I really wanted to get my hands on because I'm a big assault rifle guy. I saw it at SHOT Show and I kind of called it the sleeper of SHOT Show 2015. Uh, B&T's booth wasn't real big. It's kind of down, downstairs tucked away because they're just getting started here in the US. But I saw the gun, liked it. Real slim feel to it. You know, it has an extruded aluminum upper, kind of that scar-esque look, but has a slimmer feel to it. And I kind of liked the layout of the gun. Once again, mag release. All right, now the bolt release on this one's a little bit different. It's ambidextrous. It's right here on both sides, but you can manually push it up here and lock the bolt to the rear. And then also you push it down and that sends the bolt forward. Also charging handle is reversible to both sides. And the selector is the same as you see on the other APC family as well as the MP9. All right, here we go. One hot. Try a little semi-auto to begin with. Real soft shooting, mild recoil, a little slightly muzzle heavy, which I don't find offensive. And it helps you get back on target quicker. So, I mean, overall soft shooting gun. I'm trying to, time to try a little bit of full auto here. Real slow cyclic rate of fire. Interesting. Hmm, I would have thought it had been a little bit faster than that. Let me try a little bit more. Hmm. It's got a little bit of bounce to it, but if you keep you, know, you come off that trigger and get two shots. I mean, it's not bad controllability wise for a 5.56. And once again, slightly muzzle heavy, just a little bit. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Time to load it back up, fire it up some more. Hey, thanks for watching the Vickers Tactical YouTube channel. To subscribe, click here. And to watch some of my favorite videos, click here. Have a good one. LAV out.